Hello everyone, this is Jack from Obedia. In this video we will be looking at a multi-track session that we will be preparing to mix. Today we are focusing on routing and we'll be setting up buses to help us mix more efficiently. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got a multi-track session here. Um, this is perhaps something that you would have received from a tracking engineer or uh, perhaps you recorded it yourself and now you're ready to uh, complete your final mix. Um, so right now everything, if I uh, expand these tracks a little bit for you to see the uh, I.O. section here, all these tracks are just routed to the main output one and two. Uh, you can also see that by going to your mix window and seeing the output here. So I can hear everything uh, because it's all going to my main monitors. <laughs> which is great, but uh, because they're all routed to the same place, essentially individually routed to my main output, I can't process them as groups. So if I wanted to put some type of processing on all the drums or the percussion or the bass, the guitar or any of the vocal tracks, I couldn't really do that. Same thing with the uh, overall mix. If I wanted to put some processing on the overall mix, it would be difficult to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a series of individual instrument buses that should allow us to process things a little bit uh, easier. So uh, we're going to do that by starting to create five auxiliary inputs. Uh, we have five different instrument groups, drums, percussion, bass, guitar, and vocal. So we're going to create five different aux inputs. And we do that on Pro Tools by hitting Shift, Command, N. We're going to create five. They're going to be stereo, and they're going to be aux inputs. And there we have our five aux inputs. And then we're going to name them uh, what they're going to be. So we do that by double-clicking the name. And in this case, we're going to go drums, 